In this video, I'm going to show you layering techniques using the media antique and creams. We're going to go for a, a rust type effect on, on one of the pieces and a patina effect on the other. Now we're going to use three colours of the antique and creams. We're going to use white, patina and black. We're also going to use media fluid acrylics in medium grey value 6, dark grey value 3 and also quinacridone gold. Now we're just going to use some embossed card but these techniques can be used on anything with texture. Now here's two that I've prepared. The one on the left here has the light grey, the one on the right has the dark grey. Now these are both dry now so we're going to apply some black antique and cream to, to the light grey one that's on the left. Um, this is going to be used for our rust technique. Now you don't need too much antique and cream, it does go a long way. You can apply it with your finger but Actually, I think I'll, I'll get a brush and I'll apply with a brush. Now, it, it's really important to work this antique and cream so it, it gets right into the depths of the texture. And you see, as I mentioned, a, a, a small amount goes a long, long way. There we go, so there's the light grey one done. And now we're going to use the patina antique and cream to antique the dark grey piece. Now you, you can leave these antique and creams to dry naturally, but you can also use a hair dryer or a heat tool they're going to dry but they're not going to cure so you can always wipe back so I'll leave these to dry and we'll come back to the next stage okay so the antique and cream is now dry and I'm just going to start removing it the, the best method with this is a, a damp cloth you don't want it too wet because you'll remove too much antique and cream and just keep working keep turning the cloth to a new area a fresh area and what you're looking for is the antique and cream to be staying in all the deep recesses of the texture Okay, so this patina effect looks really good as it is and I'd be very happy with it but we're going to take it a stage further and we're, we're going to start layering up with another colour. So I'll let this dry and we come back. Okay, so before we put more layers on this we, we need to seal it so we don't disturb the antique and cream. So I'm going to use the ultra matte varnish in the medial range. This is dead flat, there is no sheen whatsoever. It's a, a, an amazing product and it has great tooth so it will cling to new colours going on. You want to work quite quick, you don't want to disturb the antique and creams. Even though they've dried, it, if you dampen them too much they can shift. So just apply quite quickly. Okay, the varnish is now dry so our antique and creams are permanent. So I'll just pop the patina one to the side and we're going to work on the rust. Now if we just recap, this has had one coat of medium grey value 6, followed by a coat of black antique and cream, and it was then sealed with the ultra matte varnish. So the antique and creams are now permanent. So the next colour I'm going to use is quinacridone gold. We're just going to apply this one coat nice and thinly. This colour is like liquid rust in a bottle, and it's a must-have, especially if you like the vintage look. And the, the quinacridone family of pigments, they're very, very translucent. Uh, and also very light fast, they're just a wonderful pigment. So you'll notice as I'm applying this, because of its translucency, you're still seeing that black and the grey show, showing through, and this is going to enable us to get this really authentic rust look. So there's a really easy rust te technique, just with one coat of quinacridone gold we've already got a, an authentic rusty looking piece. We move on to the patina piece now and just to recap it had a coat of dark grey value 3 followed by a coat of patina antique and cream and it was then sealed with the ultra matte varnish. 
Now, I, I like this patina effect as it is, but I just want to show you how we can layer the antiquing cream. So we're now going to give this a coat of the white. We'll now allow the white to dry before removing it. Okay, so I've now removed most of the white antique and green, and you can actually see the green patina showing, and the grey, and the white. Uh, so it just gives you a, a, another added dimension to using the antique and creams. Now, one thing you can do is buff these antique and creams once they're dry. And just with a soft cloth, and hopefully you'll see the angle, that you get a really lovely sheen on the surface. Now, you could seal this again, and then start layering with quinacridone gold again, just to age it even more, so that there's endless possibilities. Okay, so the first coat of quinacridone gold is now dry. Um, I really like it how it is, but we can take it a stage further again. I'm going to put a second coat of the gold on, and this is just going to intensify that, that rust colour. And again, it's really important to apply this thinly. So there you go, a really easy rust technique. Now you could leave the rust as it is, but we're, we're going to antique this now with the white antiquing cream. And again, as before, just apply this all over with a brush. It's going to give an appearance similar to this piece. It looks like it's been painted and the paint's worn and chipped off. And we'll now leave this to dry. So I've, I've removed most of the antique and cream now from the, the peaks of the texture. And it's quite dry. So what I like to do now at this stage is I'll mix a little bit of quinacridone gold with some black. And then I'm just going to antique this more. There you go, so that's layering antiquing creams. For more information about the media range, please visit decoart.com.